What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't been posting and I know I always say this. I always say I'm sorry and I always um, say I'm gonna post more but I always end up not posting more. So I'm not gonna apologize, I'm gonna just try to do better on uploading and uh, being more consistent with you guys cause uh, that's what this YouTube channel was originally started, just my love for uh, electronics and tech and everything like that. And just wanted to see if I could help anybody, but like I said, I'm going to be working on that. And uh, one of the main reasons that I am now feel like I will be more consistent is, well, that's the way I justify my purchases lately. So I'm going to be using this a MacBook 2022 Air uh, with the M2 processor. Anyway, sorry for the interruption, but as I was saying, I'm going to try to post more. That's all I'm trying to say. And thank you guys for the all the subs and stuff. So, I ended up picking up this 13.6 inch M2 MacBook Air. Uh, I picked it up uh, yesterday, I believe. Yes, I did pick it up yesterday. And I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and maybe like an initial setup guide. So... So, this MacBook M.2, uh, I picked it up for a little under a thousand dollars. I think it was on sale from uh, Best Buy. So, uh, the only reason why I kind of didn't want to go with the M1 MacBook Air. For my needs personally, because my needs are just basically iMovie, and that's probably the most intensive uh, application that I'm going to be using. But the reason why I didn't go with an M1, with the M1 still being a very powerful chip, this is just around 20% faster uh, in certain tasks. So, yeah, but uh, I needed the, well, I didn't need it, but the M1 has a. The chassis is like, I don't know how to describe it, it's like a clam one, it's not uniform like this one. And I just personally didn't like it when I had my uh, MacBook Pro 2016. I think it's sort of the same design where it's like thick over here towards the towards the screen and then it goes um, like it gets skinnier the further it goes down and I personally didn't enjoy that at all. And another reason why I wanted this one was... I know that the keyboard is uh, the same basically, they're both using the new scissor switch keys, but I just feel like my hands would be more comfortable uh, on a device that is fully flat. I guess they're both fully flat, but... So let me flip this around. There you go. And lift this bad boy up. So as always, we always put this to the side because we don't look at the product first we look at the accessories and the stuff that it comes so I really enjoy that the charging it is also also uh, it's MagSafe now so that's also a plus and the cord comes uh, in the color of your uh, MacBook so I chose the Midnight Black I believe it was called or Midnight something I think it was honestly just called Midnight um, so I got it in this color and uh, kind of weird that the this part is still white but I guess the MagSafe is uh, the color of the MacBook which is kind of cool uh, let's look right here you got your I know that the stickers are supposedly the same colors as the MacBook as well but crap did I even get any stickers oh yeah see stickers uh, I probably have like a thousand of these at this point. Um, let's just put this to the side. Chuck these to the side. As always, I like to show off a little bit of the quick start instructions and stuff like that. So you see it's MacBook Air. We have a Touch ID on the power button. The Force Touch trackpad. The menu bar on the top left and the FaceTime HD camera. Uh, control center, finder, dock, system settings. We have one headphone jack, one MagSafe 3, and two Thunderbolt USB 4. So, uh, other than that, I think that's it. So, we get, uh, I believe this is, how, how many watt charger is this? 
Let me see. This is a... What is this wattage? 30 watt charger. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... It is a 30 watt charger. So, I also have uh, this one that I'm probably going to end up using for it. Just because I uh, prefer the faster charging. And this is, I believe... This is an 87 watt charger. So, yeah, so look at the size difference on this. I wonder if I'll even notice much of a difference, but I can do some tests on that as well. So we get this. Do we get any cable for it? Oh, dang, we don't get a cable for it. Is that it? Is that really it? Crap, that's kind of bummy. Dude, they're not even including. Oh, no. I, oh, my bad. I'm dumb. Sorry. The cable is the ca the braided cable, sorry. Sorry guys, I, I got confused for a second. I, I didn't, it blended in, I couldn't find it. So, let's put all this stuff away and open up what you guys came to see. Uh, these stickers are kind of cool, like I said, kind of cool. I like that they come in the color that you chose and the charger's super sick. I'm honestly just like a little Apple fanboy. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I am an Apple fanboy, so let's open this up. So we got right here like a nice little unwrapping experience. Okay, oh, probably wasn't supposed to open it like that, but wow, guys, look at this. Check this out. That's a thumbnail right there. Bam. Uh, put this to the side. So... I know that this is probably going to be a fingerprint fingerprint magnet because at Best Buy one, I was messing around with them. I touched one and it was clean. And I literally just went like that and there was fingerprints on it. So uh, make sure to keep your microfiber cloth. Oh, snap. Is that already like missed? Whoa, hold up. Oh, okay. That's not messed up. I wonder what that was. It was like a little piece of... It was like a little piece of sticky stuff. Anyways, it's all good. Can't even tell. Wow, what a beautiful machine. See if you guys can capture that. Look at that. Uniform body. Show you guys the uh, side angles. I think this is the headphone jack. Focus, focus, focus. Yeah, there you go. One headphone jack on this side. Uh, your opening right there. Your MagSafe. Your MagSafe and your two USB slash Thunderbolt ports. And your back over here. So let me just put this stuff to the side real quick. And I'm going to open it up. And the next video will be the setup guide. Because I know... This video is probably going to take quite a bit. So let me pop this bad boy open. One handed. One handed. Yep. Wow. Did you guys hear that? Sorry if I was loud. My bad. But yeah, it made the Apple uh, sound start up, I guess. Look at this bad boy. Already starting up. So, I'm probably going to end up the video right there. Actually, let me show you guys some typing experience. Because I'm a real keyboard snob. And that is one of the reasons why I waited up until the scissor switch came back because, oh yeah, hold on, let me turn that down. Okay, well I can't mute it, but I'll work on that in the setup video, okay? So, thank you guys for uh, watching this quick unboxing. Let me know if you guys want to see anything. Oh, crap. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this unboxing video. If you guys have any questions, you guys want to see anything on the MacBook Pro, please let me know down in the comments below. I am glad to try to do a video or something like that. I'll try to let you guys know what my opinions and thoughts are. So I hope you guys can enjoy that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.